welcome back to the Darwin Squash Centre. We have the second match today, mixed doubles between Joelle King, New Zealand, and Paul Cole. And the Indian pairing, Jitika Palakal and Surav Gusul. And I'm joined here with number one Australian, Cameron Pilly. Good, good afternoon, Cameron. Good afternoon, Ryan. And it's a pleasure to be back in the com box with you. We've had about about a thousand people ask for us to come back, so you know that's why we're back. We enjoy commentating. Since we lost yesterday, our heads are down, but we're um, you know we're, we're still here for squash. We're um, well, squash is the winner, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're doing for the game. We're um, we're just here for commentating, so yeah. We we'll try our best. I mean, the amount of requests to get us back on the mic cast. Um, oh, I, I think twi Twitter went into meltdown. The, the phone's the phone's just been off the off the scale. I had to turn it off before. <laughs> but now, getting to the serious business here, it's um, should be an interesting match between these two. I actually haven't seen the Indian pairing play yet, but I'm sure the New Zealand New Zealanders are quite solid. Um, Paul Cole is one of the quickest players on the PSA and, and Joel obviously we've seen her last match she hits the ball severely hard and um, quite a different mix up between these two pairings what do you think Cameron? Yeah I think you're right there like Paul's such an athletic guy he's, he's quick he's flexible he's a strong boy he likes to volley take it early hit the ball hard um, and on the other side you've got Joel who like I said, as we saw, hit the ball very hard. Um, she didn't, well, the Aussies in the last match didn't get her too involved in the game. Um, she won't be tired. No. Fresh legs. Fresh legs. Um, but it's going to be interesting because you've got the Indian pairing of Dipika on the forehand who's solid. Yeah, she, um, she hits a solid ball. And both pretty skillful Indian pairing. So it's, it's a good clash of styles here. Yep. I'm going to say... Indians for this match. Score? I've got all the Indians sitting next to me, so I can't really go against them. They might um. They just give us evil. They might take, here take too, me so outside and you know rough you up a bit. Yeah, do, do something I don't really like. But, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put my money on the Indians. And I'm gonna fly in the, in the building here. Got to fly in the com box. Out. Open the window, Gus. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go two one to India. Right. What's your uh, prediction? Well, um, if you're going to the Indians, I'll just I'll just go to the go, Kiwis. Got to go the Kiwis. Do you, want, do you want to have a coffee on it? Yeah, we'll put a coffee on it. Right. Yeah. I'll have a large flat white. Thank yeah. you very much. Coffee on that. Nine. But I think it's going to be a pretty close match. It's quite interesting, the, um, the mixed doubles, isn't it? Um, looks like the two girls are playing the right wall together, so you're going to probably see a lot of straight balls, you know, a lot of action on their side. And then the guys are going to try, you know, come in and get involved when they can. Um, so it's really, you know, a battle of the right wall here, I'd say. Yeah, that's exactly right. But the commentator's curse there because the first four shots were down the men's. <laughs> Yeah, it is going to be interesting over on that right wall. A bit of an edgy error at the start. You know, both these girls can hit the ball quite hard, and they, they can whip it cross court quite well. I think so they'll be, yeah, they'll be playing a lot down the wall, but then the odd cross court just to keep the boys on. Yep. Like that. Yep. Cast, you know this game inside out. Right? Should write a book, really. Oh, down the middle for the winner. Two love. Quick start from New Zealand here. Just as we saw in the last match in the women's, it was have come out looking very sharp early on. Oh! oh. And that is a drilling. Happy jam. Wasn't intentional there, but doesn't look happy. Just trying to weave it. I don't see a mark yet. Through the legs. Paul needing to improve on his accuracy, I think. 
I think one of the Colombian girls actually got hit and her whole leg was... Oh, yeah, it was like purple. A, yeah, it was purple. Looked like an oversized beetroot. <laughs> Anyway, they're back into it. Leave a bruise. Just jumping around. Crowd enjoying that one. I thought Dibby was going to try and drill them back there. Yeah. Get one back. I mean, it's tickle all day, son. Not trickle, but oh. I just change it because I don't know I'm changing it. Oh, bit of hair gang over there on the right side. But I think it, everyone, everyone's got a different saying for it, but it's trickle can, or tickle. Or if anyone wants there's to... A, um, there's a few players in the crowd here. You can just ask there, Ryan. Yeah. Um, you've got a... Got a major opinion on that. Oh, that's a great angle there. All cult. Just hashtag tickle or hashtag trickle. Tickle or trickle. Squash yours at W. Surav. Sounded like a girl, but I think it was Surav. Surav giving a little scream there. Wasn't even on that same side, same side of the court. Someone's trying to see me watch while I'm commentating. Co-commentator just in all sorts with his old school Casio watch. Years old, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, they for a new one there. Two months old, mate. I'm gonna try and nick it. It cost me ten bucks. I'm gonna catch slips. Oh no! Rules coming out. That's just that's really good pressure on the Indians there. Oh, ball's gone. It's all happening. People are getting hit. Ball's gone. Flies in the commentators box. That's an early really knocked ball out break. RV here, our CEO. Really knocked him out with the ball. Start. That's an early ball break. Yeah, it's only it's been six rallies. Like probably five minutes of play. Ball's gone. It's all that power from Young Surov over here. Hey, pounds the ball. Never hits it probably harder than him. Yep. I'd say so. Start from New Zealanders though. They come out of the blocks quick, don't they? A bit of pressure on um, Tipica there, you know, a few quick volleys out there and she made a few unforced errors. I think the um, when she got hit by the ball that sort of you know, put off the game a little bit. Kind of rattled her a bit, yeah. Just rattled her a little bit, but um, she needs to get back into it. Just, um, stick to her game.
the ball's warm. We're ready to start again. Let play let on One the last three. point. One three. Hard hitting rally by the girls over here on the left wall. Oh, that, that was good. That. that was good. That was double. Oh, I thought she kind of got that. Oh. The Kiwi camp not happy. I thought the Two, first three. one was good. A bit dodgy on the second one, but 50-50. Oh, I, I kind of thought she got that. Yeah, she might have got the racket underneath the ball. I mean, Campbell Grayson just throwing all sorts Campbell of looks over here. shaking his head. He can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Oh, the mid-court drop. Oh, oh get bit out of here. Karma. Bit of karma. Bit of fortune there. Caught the jaws. Joel just caning the ball into the front wall, side wall join. Almost serves in the back wall, Nick. Yes. What is going on? It's a great shot, straight at the body. A little fist bump there from the Kiwis. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Poor service, but um, great finish. Controversial decision. Controversial. Sort of hitting the cross court. And cannot believe it again. He's going to leave the building, I think. Yeah. Back fly back to New Zealand in a second. Oh my God's going on. Sort of hitting the cross court. Hitting Dipika's feet. And there is a let. And refs mm. opting to play a let. Controversial. That is open for discussion. If you want to write in with a, an opinion on that piece, please do. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep our um, opinions to ourselves. I think. Yeah, yeah, just upsetting me. We're here for a good time, Ryan. We're here for the sport in general. We're here for the squash. We'll give it a go. It's just all happening. It's a great get. Oh, this is going to be caned. Very tense on here, isn't it? It is. Oh, oh, communication breakdown. Oh, the old head fake. Oh, head fake. Get over the head fake. Oh, Scott, I love seeing head fake. Oh, the old That'd school head fake. Oh. oh! Even the little speedy Gonzalez couldn't get that back. Great little yeah. angle. This flat white is not looking good, is it? You can taste that flat white already. Oh. Oh. I don't know about but this Indian parent need to get their communication right. Of a miss hit there. It's good pressure though. Thank you, 
out of drills. Get those feet moving. Quick feet, Cuss, quick feet. Yorker. Yorker. Oh, the block. Oh. We love seeing the block. Everyone loves the block. Bring a bit of fire back into it. There we go. Just clipping the top of the tin there. Probably the wrong shot because Joel was just oh. inside of there in front of us. So you want to go short when your opponent's behind you. New Zealand players, it's in their favour. I mean, I think the Indians need to slow it down a bit, you know, find the corners, find the variations, and that's where they'll succeed. The Kiwi's very happy to play this place. All day. They did it all day. All day. Maybe just need to chip it down the wall a bit and, and slow this thing down. Paul just taking Joel's shot. That's a nice ball. Tivik is getting hammered here. She's been hit about 16 times. Great shot from Surav. Great shot. Bit of chit chat PC from the Kiwis. Uh, PC with a last call. Nice shot from Surav there. A bit more aggressive. Yep. Second serve. It's a, it's a poor error from Sorav. Bottom Same of the fire. ten. Don't want to be hitting too many of those. Looking for that one. It's a great angle there. Yeah, we see the speed from Carl. Easy, one, easy get. Oh my god. <laughs> She was going to have a go at that. Six, ten, I think she wanted to. Great shot. Took his room. Executed the shot. Beautiful.
get all those phones put on silent, please. Oh, edgy mistake mm. there. Characteristic error there from Joey. Still two game balls for the Kiwis. We'll come back here. Trouble here. Missed hit central. Get out of here, Paul Cole. I'll take it, though. You joker. Oh, sorry, I just can't find the ball for that last <laughs> hit. He's framing it all over the place. Finishing with a tin, he's not going to be happy with that. He's a few shake of the heads. Not happy with that. Likes to hit that one between his legs into the neck. Well, we've seen a few miss hit winners this uh, tournament, haven't we, Cameron? We've been on the receiving end of quite a few of those, yeah. right? Not too happy with those. Yeah, but, you know, we, we like to give credit when credit's due. The, the Scots played a good match. They um, they got the win. They deserved it. But, um, yeah, we, we, they got a couple of lucky winners there, but, you know, that happens. It does. It, it happens does. in sport. It was their day. It wasn't our day, Cameron. That's why we're sitting here in the commentating <laughs> box. Sitting here in the comm box. Yes, welcome yeah. back. Just over the other side in the Kiwi camp over there. Campbell Grayson just throwing daggers over here. He's still but worried the, about the pickup from about six I rallies he's, ago. Is he still complaining about that pickup? He's still, still going on about it. He's still had his hands up in the air. He's red in the face. Oh, actually, no. I think he's going on about Dipper get, getting drilled by Paul. Yeah. He's still having a chuckle about it. Well, Ryan, I mean, I'm halfway to a flat white here. Um, what would you? What, what advice would you give the Indian team here? Um... I'd get them to slow it down a bit. And, um, you know, the ball's flying around and Joel and Paul are happy to play that pace for the next hour if they want to. So I think, um, you know, the Indians need to slow it down a little bit. You know, use the front of the court, use the back of the court. Um, just use their skill a bit more. It's just becoming a bit of a, um, you know, one pace. And um, Joel and Paul are just too, you know, they love that. They feed off that. So um, if they don't change up their game plan, it could be a... Um, white down means I've won nothing this trip <laughs> yeah I think just a little bit too one dimensional the Indians yeah. um, it's they, tough in they, doubles because you know you want to hit the ball hard and you want to put pressure on your on your opponents but I mean, you still need to play squash and still mix up the pace a bit um, you get a bit carried away you know it's a big moment you know, a big match but I think the Indians they just need to slow it down a bit um, take their time and look for the corners and a few variations through the middle and um, that could get them the next game yeah I think you're, you're on the money there Cusk I mean the Kiwis came out ridiculously sharp hitting winners we saw the Indians come back towards the back end of that first game but you know, a little frame from Paul clinched the game well they um, had the lead so I mean they had a big lead so we are in the, you know, the wheelhouse so those sort of stuff that, cause that can happen in doubles I mean bit of fortune but they had the lead so one game to love New Zealand just seeing Sura straight away taking the pace off the ball yep he might have heard me he's got great touch young Sura Goku the assistant touch in India I'll tell you what Kasky you've got some wise words here Just an unforced error there. Yeah, from just need to get it tight, you know, just, just a couple of millimeters above the team, just along the wall would have been, you know, the shot. But um, you know, she's forcing a bit there.
one thing that um, Dave Palmer does really well, I think. Um, he really gets involved and tries to, you know, cut across and get more involved than um, some of the other guys. So I think um, if Siro can just get across and, you know, intercept some of those balls and put in a drop, um, it could be a few, you know, a few points. For the yeah, I think they need to... Oh, oh, oh. again. Dibbing is, is not happy. Got a bullseye on not her back. happy. She will not send Joel Christmas cards <laughs> for the next three years. She is not happy. It's an accident there, I think. Yeah, I think that was just pure accident there. Yep. Going for the cross court, wrapping away. Like you're saying, sort of needs to try and get over there and yeah, he hasn't really involve himself. He lined it up. I could just see it from here, Cameron. It just went straight where he aimed. Three, straight into that nick. Lovely touch there from Paul. Little body fake from Sura. Yeah, that's, that's a nice good. kill. That's a nice shot. Yeah. Set up from that nice length from Sura. One, three. It's a good get from Joel. She's just getting the ball real well yeah. for the tall girl. It's got to be 6'1, 6'2. Oh, hold the phone, Cask. I'm 6'3. <laughs> Bet your height? Oh, jeez. She'll take you. <laughs> I'd, I'd what say is she, about 6'6? 6'1? 5'11. Mate, I'm 5'11. Come on. <laughs> She's got you She's covered, mate. Towers over me. <laughs> I'm saying 6'1. Six, 6'1. Six, Do you want another flat white on that? Alright, let's put let's get it back. Let's put a flatty on that. Uh, we'll say six one for Joel. Alright. What about Sura? No, about four foot eight. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Standing back quite quite far. Yep. So they need to push up on the tee a bit more, you know, get in front of that red line. Yeah, at the moment the Kiwis they have such a better position. Yeah, they're uh, just in front all the time. See there? Yeah. 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 Just to stamp her authority a little bit over that side of the court. Push up, hold a position and get Jello behind her. Ooh. Oh, have a go, son. <laughs> have a go. That's Whoa. a great little angle. Straight in the middle. Was, it, was that intentional, Ryan? I think I'm going to say yes. Um, mm. 
but it is a good shot. It brings both New Zealanders into the middle of the court. And a bit of confusion there. Tim, like you said, Cust. Such an en it is an enjoyable game now. You know, you can put the ball away, like Sir just did. Especially when we got on that glass court. Um, you know, come off games, um, we'll have the old glass court. Um, so then it even becomes even more, you know, dead. So it's it is enjoyable. Um, still hit some winners on here, but on the glass court, you hit some, you know, more winners and. Yeah, everyone can watch them all around the court, so I think it's going to be a good uh, showcase at Gold Coast. Um, looking forward to playing at home if, mm. if we make the team, Cameron. You oh never yeah. know. I mean, there might be some young whippersnappers out there. Oh, I hope there is. <laughs> I hope there is. But um, we're, we're pretty safe at the moment, I'd say. Yeah, we're, look, we're looking the goods to, to crack that team. Yep. I'd like to see a, you know, a few young guys push on up. Yeah, we'll, you know, maybe. There's maybe. a little bit of talent there. We just, um, you know, Squash Australia doing a good job. Of team in there that they're trying. Oh, oh. again. Poor Cole. He's, he's Who is it. this man? He's seen it and he slots it. Cole. Yeah. was saying, um, Squash Australia, they're doing a good job. They've got a new team in here. New rebranding. There's a Squash uh, TV that we're on at the moment. SquashAustralia.tv. It's a great new, new thing for uh, Squash in Australia. Um, all all events around Australia hopefully be live streaming. Yeah, I think they've done a great job with that, Ryan. Just the, like I said, the whole rebranding thing. Oh, did we go just wanting to drill that? Yeah, I think it's good for squash in Australia. You know, it's a, it's almost like a fresh start. Like I said, a new team in there, rebranding. We've got Squash TV now. Um, I think it's, it's only a positive for the sport in Australia. Great shot. It's a nice skill. He needs to find a little bit of form here. Pretty tight. Also, it'd be good to give a little shout out to the, the Australian Boys Under 19 team over there in Poland. They've, yes. they've had a great run over there. Forget about those boys over in Poland. Very well. Ooh, it's good length. Yes, those those boys have done very well. Um, obviously, I'm, we haven't probably seen them play that much, but um, I think they did, you know, way better than expectations. So um, seventh is a um, probably one of the best we've done in probably the last what, well, I think ten years. Yeah, I think, I think it's been the best. Oh, oh a bit of a miss here, but we'll, we'll take it. They come. That's the game of squash. Yeah, I think it's a. Best result in 14 years, actually. Oh, you've I'm been doing seven. your um, research, Cameron. Oh, it's good to see you've done your research. Stats man. I'm a stats man, yeah. really. So, it's just. Uh, yeah, it looks like they've got some passes over there coaching them. And oh, it's a great shot. Um, Paul was a great player back in the day. He made the final of the British Open and I think world number four. Yep, yep. Um, so he definitely has a. A lot of knowledge of the game and experience. Yeah, so it looks like he's had a good influence on the boys yep. over there. So it's good to see that you know a few of the strangers come back and you know, take up these roles of Australian junior teams. And, and um, Jack Alexander's back there now, coaching a little bit for Western Australia. So it's good to see some players coming back. Oh, a bit ambitious there. Hey, uh, hey, hey. An important point as well. That was a big point. Kiwi's just taken a one point lead here. 8 7. Well, it's 
a little bit headless at the moment. That's a great get by Joel. Oh, there's the York up. Oh, now the boys having to go down here. Joel. Ten. Oh, oh a bit of confusion. Hey, yeah. A bit of confusion. I think actually Paul hit Joel hey, there. Paul. Tight second game here, Ryan. Actually, can I go back on my um, height for Joel? Can I go six foot? Is that no. Right? No. You've, you've made your decision. What's your, what's your call? I was 5'11. Okay, yeah, so. Oh. Just a 5, 11 and 6, one. Patient. Nine, well, eight. as soon as she walks off court, we'll make sure we ask her. While she's in the middle of the game, we should just ask her. Just, yeah. just before she shakes hands, we'll just ask. Big point here. Oh, ambitious an again. Forced error. It's a massive point. Victory. Joel, a man, a man to shot there. It's an absolute slot to finish. The Kiwis are on fire, Cusk. That's two golds for New Zealand, straight up. Two out of two. Joel, two from two. Two as well. Two. No, but they played, you know, solid from the start. Um, great attacking, um, volleying, um, played the high pace, and just India didn't quite get into their, you know, couldn't use their skill as much and couldn't, you know, take the pace off the ball. So it was a great performance by the New Zealand pairing. Yeah, it was. They just didn't let India get into it. And the Indians just looked uncomfortable for the whole match. All credit to the Kiwis for, for doing that to them. Thanks for everyone watching again. We'll, we're going to have a little presentation, a few interviews here at the moment. So we'll, I'm sure we'll be back. I think Cameron and myself will be doing one more match, the men's final. In probably minutes. 15 minutes. So I'm looking around, forward to it, Ryan. Grab a little coffee. Maybe a little. Speaking of coffee. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. We, we have a height for Joel. 176. What's that about? Oh, someone do the do the maths there. 5'11. What's five, that? Six. Whoa, oh, was, that five, was it 5'11, was it? <laughs> I think we're both wrong. Oh, we'll, get, we'll get back to you with the exact figures there, but. Yeah. I might be on my way to a second coffee. Yeah, we'll, we'll go have a little coffee and a little break and then we'll be back in uh, 15 minutes. Thanks.
Hill. What a fantastic match that was in the mixed final. And let's bring up the runners up, India. Congratulations, guys. Deepika, that was a really tough match up there against a very strong New Zealand pair. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, uh, I don't think uh, myself and uh, Saurav played uh, to our ability today. I think we could have played a little better, but uh, the New Zealand people came out really strong. I think uh, they won fire today, and uh, I think, uh, you know, we just got to go back to the drawing board and play our game tomorrow and come back next time. Sarah, that was... Uh as Deepika said, a very tough match. It's been a tough tournament. A lot of matches. How's your body feel? Yeah, my body's fine. Um, I've had a good summer. I've trained hard, so the body's absolutely fine. We're going to keep improving on, on that front. Um, like Deepika said, uh, the Kiwi pair uh, executed their game plan really well today, and uh, we probably didn't respond as well as what we would like to. Uh, but that's um, that's a, that's a learning curve today. Um, uh, one and a half years from now, the Commonwealth Games will be better prepared. So um, it's it's a good thing that we've played a lot of the pairs uh, in uh, in the World Doubles, and I'm happy that we've had so many matches, and I'm and I'm happy that we've uh, we've won so many of them. But of course, today not winning is a failure. Um, we obviously want to win. We want to dominate, um, and we'll do what we can uh, to come back stronger and and play better, so that uh, we can respond to whatever people throw at us in the future. And Deepika, you had a great tournament last week winning the Australian Open, so you must be proud uh, walking away from Australia with that and, and reaching the final here today. Yeah, I mean, I would have been a little more happy if you won that match. But, um, yeah, I think we'll take what we got. And uh, um, we've got a long season ahead. I mean, we've got the Hong Kong and we've got the China next. So um, uh, before we try and enjoy what we had, you know, the last three weeks, we've got to go back and play. So we're happy with what we've got. And as Sora said, uh, the bigger picture happens in one and a half years at the Commonwealth Games. So we're going to learn uh, from our losses and come back stronger. Well, congratulations tonight and well done on reaching the final. And it's two from two for New Zealand. Let's welcome Joelle King and Paul Cole. <laughs> Paul, Joelle's had her moment. Let's let's talk about you for a second. That was a great win out there tonight. Yeah, cheers. Thank you very much. Uh, I think Joe played most of the squash, but um, yeah, I just tried to soak up my side and uh, stick to our game tactics. So yeah. Joelle, how does this feel? Two wins from two. What a fantastic night and what a fantastic tournament has been for you this week personally yeah um i mean i think we came here we weren't set top seeds or anything but um we've been working on our combinations and we thought if we could put it together um we'd be in with a chance um i don't think we really knew that we could win two golds but it feels pretty good to take them back to new zealand and paul what does this mean for for squash new zealand i mean you've got a so many great young players coming through the system this this has got to be fantastic for them back home yeah, I mean, uh, we got set some uh, some goals that we had to get a couple medals, and we know Commonwealth Games is coming up in a couple of years, so um, I think all four of us will still be around then, and, and this is a really good stepping stone for that for us. Fantastic tonight, guys. Well done. You've got two from two. Congrats, New Zealand. Thank you.